flank there by David Seco, the Moroccan coach who's presided over a real resurgence for the Moroccan team for so long, a top class nation. And Nada Laraj, well, can she add the second medal for the Moroccans? They took their first ever one in the Rome Grand Prix. It will certainly be number two. High fives all round. Can she get the high scores on the board and put herself well, into her first ever final? Hansen very composed, experienced. The reason for that, of course, the Rio Olympian and 2019 world champion. Ready for action? Well, you can guarantee it. She's had a great day so far, looking in fine form. High scoring, free flowing. And a smile there with not just a volunteer but also Chi Young Suk, her coach. Navaya Fesenia, our Serbian centre ref. And here we go, eyes down, look in on the first one. Day number one here in Chiba, of course. And the protectors working first time. Always good to see. Laraj in blue. Harsujin, of course, in red. Much of a muchness in terms of height. Harsujin, perhaps the quicker with the footwork, but Laraj with that front leg, good power. The customary feeling out process. Looking for space for kicks to the face. Good patience from Harsajin, just taking her time in this one. Nada Laraj, likewise, just looking for that front leg push to the body. Can't push it onto the board, though. Well, you can hear the voice there of Che Young Suk, the Thai coach. He may be the happier of the two with the start being made. Punching the way through. Uh, Excellent is indeed the call from David Seco. Happy to generate the gam, John. Halfway through this first round, one on the board for the Moroccan. And of course, in the semi final, the tension palpable. Mentioned that Jade Jones, Great Britain's fighter, is not competing in this one, taking a rest. She'll be taking her spot, I'm sure, at the Tokyo Games. Who's going to join her? Both fighters here have their designs on that. As we approach the last 30 seconds or so in the first round. Open stance, but not open scoring by any means. A little flick to the body there from Harsajin. Hard times for the Thai fighter to get anything on the board here. Well, good patience and good start from Laraj. Controlling the centre of the mat. And giving Hartigen plenty to think about. And his opening rounds go. Well, the Moroccan will be delighted with this one. She goes back to her coach. One point to the good. So tons of time, of course. David Seco has really enlivened the Moroccan programme. That Asian Games experience here for Harstogen compared to the African Games experience. This young lady here very recently. The strength on that push kick gets her on the board. Just a reminder from Siko, I'm sure, just to look out for that flick to the face. Arsogen sneaks it in nicely over the guard. She'll need to be on guard for this one. Well, time to go through the gears now for the TIE fighter in red. 
semi-final one day one round two the under 57s and under a bit of pressure so far Trebian is the call from David Seco. Lovely counter punch on the inside there. And it is the Moroccan who rocks one onto the board nicely, giving the tie fighter Harstagen lots to think about here. The Panapa Harstagen beginning to struggle now with the style of Larage. Good fake from Moroccan, showing her confidence. Change of stance. Back leg tonic kick misses just there for Harstagen. Oh, the coach there just saying happy with that change of stance. And looking for a change of fortune will be the tie fighter in red. She's got the gear, she's got the skills. But the 21 year old in a little bit of trouble here. Not really in terms of the score, but the momentum with Morocco. Good back leg tonic kick again. From Mirage, lands nicely under the arm. Harsigen eyeballing Laraj here. Well, the 19 year old Moroccan, a big future in this one. In terms of leg length, Moroccan 104 centimeters to 106. Harsh the gin. But it's been the merest of millimetres so far for the Moroccan. That Gam John plus the punch. With 30 seconds to go in this second round. Harsh the trying to fake, intimidate, draw something out. Well, having to work now for 10 seconds is the call from David Seco. Keep the pressure on. Well, she started off the first round with a 1-0 lead. And she ends the second round with a 2-0 lead. Still very close. But as performances go, Larage, can she cause an upset here? Well, Morocco beginning to come back to the yesteryear glories. Always a top-class nation. David Seco beginning to get some results on the board. We saw that really beginning to happen out in the Grand Slam and Wushi in the team championships. They showed their togetherness, showing their power, doing a lot of training out in France together. Former French fighter Seco. And he's seeking answers in this one. Likewise, on the other, in terms of the coaching, Che Young Suk, highly experienced, of course presiding over numerous Olympic medals, world championship titles. So Thailand's team coach giving the last piece of instruction and encouragement. Harsujin looking to make an impact here in the third round. This one, of course, to make it into the final. Good front leg control. Nada Laraj covering nicely. Good front leg effort there from Harstagen. Good punch on the way through from the tie fighter. Good counter from Laraj. And it's three to the good. Well, certainly for Morocco. Big opportunity now. But we know Harstagen has that head kick capability. Can she find a way through? And it was just flex to the face, good counter to the face. Mirage and Seco obviously have their game plan rock solid. Good front leg to the body. Arsogen crams it in. Could it be a Ganjon game? Goes for the punch. Now the 21 year old from Bangkok, of course, very fit, has the conditioning. Good back leg turning kick, Laraj going for it here, grabbing the big punch. Can she grab a spot in the first ever final for Team Morocco? Last minute now. Is it last chance saloon for Harsugin? The TIE fighter running out of ideas. Good headshot round the corner though. Laraj doing well to ride it. 
Lovely body shot there. A little crumb of comfort for Team Morocco. Extends it to a four-point gap in the last 30 seconds. And an engrossing semi-final. Great punch on the inside as well. Didn't score, but Harstajin beginning to feel it now. 20 seconds for Morocco's first ever Grand Prix final. And she's going for it. Great body shot again there for Larage. She'll give away the gam jump. Summoning up the last of her energy. Just a call from the corner judges. It could be a tactical video replay card. David Seco contending that perhaps both feet were not out of the mat. But one thing's for sure, Nada Laraj will be very happy to catch her breath. She's worked incredibly hard in this one. 8-3 on the board, a big upset in the offing. The video review panel here. Unless my eyes deceive me, it is Amelie Morass there running the rule over it. And you can see the little keypad in front, accepted or rejected, which one's it going to be? David Seco contending that this was not a gam jump, that only one leg was out. What is the pronouncement? Well, regardless of this one, it's been a tremendous effort from Nada Laraj. Just watching the Thai coach in the corner here. Unsuccessful, card gone. But it was motioning for a flick to the body, followed by one to the head. Look out for the back kick is the call from the Moroccan coach. It was the headshot attempt, a good blocking and covering. Excellent effort from Harstajin, can she find something down the stretch there was that back kick that the coach mentioned, avoids it nicely, slides around the corner. Is she stepping into her first ever Grand Prix final? Well, Nada Laraj, a big upset here. Top class stuff, Team Thailand disappointed. Magic moments for Morocco. This young lady here, the All African Games champion, following up with an opportunity to go for gold. Here in Chiba. An 8 3 win. Coach and fighter delighted. Bronze, of course, for Panapa Harsnagin. And she will take. $1,000, but taking her spot into the final, Nada Laraj, congratulations to her, great performance, and that upset.